Dr. Jaitanya Prakash Yogi, Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman, Distinguished Yoga Practitioners, Mr. Kugan Naidu, Ms. Kavita Solanki, Ms. Shisti Harinarai, Mr. Piyush Khandewa, Distinguished Online Guests, on behalf of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban, it gives me great pleasure to invite you to today's program, Yoga Darshanam, where 21 yoga practitioners will demonstrate 21 yoga asanas. To begin today's program, we will have a prayer rendition by Ms. Kavita Solanki, teacher of Indian culture at the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center in Durban. Thank you, Sharaji. Yogi na chitasya, padin evacham, malam shari rasya, chaved yakina, yopa karotam, ravaram muninam, patanjalim, pranjali, rantosmi. Om Shanti 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 Om. Thank you, Ms. Kavita. Now we will have introductory remarks by Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman, the founder and president of the Shivananda World Peace Foundation. Namaskar. On behalf of the Shivananda World Peace Foundation, it gives me great honor and privilege to welcome all the yoga participants and all the online viewers in today's momentous program, Yoga Darshanam. I also want to acknowledge and pay tribute to the Consulate General of India in Durban, Mr. Anish Rajan. Um, also, the director, Mr. Yogi Ji, from the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center in Durban for today's program, and also for the partnership with the Shivananda World Peace Foundation in promoting online yoga throughout this week towards the buildup of International Yoga Day, which is on the 21st of June. We want to also request all the community members at large to join us in this online program to ensure that yoga reaches out to the rural communities here in KwaZulu-Natal. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman. Now we will have the opening remarks by Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Director of the Swami Vivekananda Kasha Center in Durban. Good evening, Stan Bonani. Uh, respected uh, all yoga demonstrators, Sri Ishwar Ram Lachmanji, my colleague uh, Cheryl Banwari Lal, Shishti Hari Narayan, and our teacher of Indian culture. Kavita Solanki ji, our technical collaborator Sri Piyush Khandelwal ji, all online guests, audience and collaborators. This, this year, International Day of Yoga 2020's theme is Yoga from Home. This is in Hindi, Ghar Ghar Se Yoga. Means we are doing yoga from every home. So, in this program today in Yoga Darshanam, we are showing that spirit, that conviction, and that contribution of everybody to participate in the move and the mission of, of spreading the yoga everywhere in this world by not going anywhere but from home itself. 
without going anywhere how can we express our conviction and commitment to this process which is originally spiritual but also nourishing our worldly life in terms of giving us healthy life physical health mental health intellectual health and spiritual health health so when we are here to demonstrate 21 asanas today in this program then it is not like a symbolic activity to express something in terms of uh, organizing or celebrating the international yoga day but it is also the reflection of our internal journey that if things will be stopped outside then also internal journey will be continued and that internal journey can be continued from everywhere if we are at home then also we can every day practice yoga and we can make our asanas more perfect proper and fine and we can show it to all our world that that spirit will go long it will be continued so yoga darshanam is not a demonstrative activity only but it is a fine spirit of every the divine zeal and commitment of everybody to understand explore and express yoga in the life yoga which is another name of unitedness which is another name of integratedness which is another name of making people together this is another name of being one from inside and out both so today on this day of yoga darshanam and on the eve of international day of yoga we are going to show showcase asanas on screen online but also we are expressing our conviction to this spiritual process which was originated in india but now it is available in all our world which is known as yoga and today this is the yoga darshanam showing yoga expressing yoga understanding yoga exercising yoga exploring exploring yoga and also living yoga not through body only but through whole whole existence entire existence congratulations to everybody who are present here on screen to demonstrate yoga and congratulate everybody who is watching this nice program online and enjoying this moment by their own cam on mobile phones or computers thank you very much namaskar thank you sir for those enlightening words now we will have 21 yoga demonstrations by 21 yoga practitioners we will have the announcements by miss kavita solanki and introduction with benefits of the asanas by mr kugan naidu Uh, first is barita harilal garudasana garudasana is known as the eagle pose in english it strengthens the calves and the ankles it gives a good stretch to the shoulders the thighs the calf the hip the ankles and the upper back it is a standing pose also a balancing pose and a hip opener
Now, Dinesh Narsi Parvatasana. Parvatasana, translated in English, means the mountain pose. It is also known as the downward dog pose. It is an inversion. It is also part of the Surya Namaskar sequence. It strengthens the arms and the legs. It stretches the hamstrings, the hands, the shoulders, calf and the arches of the feet. Now next is Dinas, uh, Dinas Jastrasad, Vrikshasana. Vrikshasana, translated into English, means a tree pose. It strengthens the thighs, the calf, the vertebral column and the ankles. The thorax, thigh and shoulders are given a good stretch. Now next is Joina Rashbe Mandukasana. Mandukasana, translated into English, means the frog pose. It stretches all parts of the body and your body resembles that of a frog. It strengthens the back, gives a good stretch to the thorax, abdomen, thighs, ankle, throat and the psoas muscles. Now next is Jyoti Narsi Natarajasana. Natarajasana is also known as the Lord of the Dance Pose or Dancer Pose. He is a standing, balancing, backbending asana in the modern yoga. It is derived from a pose in the classical Indian dance form Bharatanatyam. It strengthens the ankles and legs, gives a good stretch to the thorax, abdomen, thigh and shoulders. To prepare for this, one should be well versed in Anumanasana and Virabhadrasana. Okay, next is Kasturi Chechi Pashimottanasana. Pashimottanasana, translated into English, means Pinsa's Pose. Pashimottanasana is a seated forward bend or an intense dorsal stretch. It stretches the hamstring, vertebral column, and the shoulders. To prepare for this asana, you need to do Janusras asana, Uttanasana and Balasana. You can sit on a foam or a block to assist you in the pose. Now next, Krishna when you ready, Shalabhasana. Shalabhasana, translated into English, means locust. It strengthens the buttocks, vertebral column, legs and arms. The thorax, thigh, navel and shoulder region is given a good stretch. This is a back bend as well as a chest opener. Now next is Leia Osman Setubandasana. Setubang Sarvangasan is known as a bridge pose. It stretches the thorax, vertebral column and the neck. It is an inverted backbending asana in the Atha Yoga and Modern Yoga as exercise. Be cautious if you have any neck issues and shoulder issues. Lof Naidu Virbhadrasana Hachu Virabhadrasana Chu translated into English means a warrior pose Chu. It is a standing yoga pose that announces strength, stability and concentration. It is named after the Hindu mythological warrior Virabhadrasan. It strengthens the ankles and the legs, gives a good stretch to the lung, thorax, ankle and shoulders. To prepare for this, one has to practice Chikonasan, Vriksasan and Badakonasan. Mihir Mundi Trikonasana Trikonasan translated into English, means triangle pose. It strengthens the knee, the ankles and the thigh. It stretches the thorax, hip, knee, thigh, vertebral column, calf, hamstrings, ankle and the shoulders. Next is Mita Naikar, Vakrasana. Vakrasan is a simple spinal twist also known as Ardha Matsendrasan. It stretches the hip, neck and shoulder. 
Spinal twists are very, very beneficial for the abdominal area and brings rejuvenation to the internal organs. Practice caution if you have lower back pain, shoulder pain or spinal injury. Natando Ungubane Uthita Hasta Padangosasan Translated into English means standing big toe pose or extended hand to big toe pose. It strengthens the ankles and the leg and it stretches the back of the leg. To prepare for this, one should practice Uttanasan, Supta Padangosasan, and Supta Virasan. It requires balance and concentration. It is also an intermediate pose, not suggested for beginners. Pet Chetty. Nav Asan, translated into English, means boat pose. Also known as Naukasan. It strengthens the abdomen, vertebral column, and the hip flexors. Thank you. Nirvana Ramadhani Sarvangasana. Sarvangasan, translated into English, means shoulder stand or all parts of the body. It is an inverted asana as a modern exercise. It stretches the shoulders and the neck. It tones all parts of the body. To prepare for this, one should be well versed in halasana. Ranila Ruby Narayan Gomukhasana. Gomukhasana, translated into English, means cow faced pose. It is a seated asana. It stretches the thorax, thigh, tricep brachy muscles, hip, axilla, ankle and shoulders. A good preparation for this will be Virasan and Badakonasan. Thank you, Nuji. Roshni Bikram Bujangasana. Bujangasana, translated into English, means cobra pose. It is a reclining, back bending asana. It strengthens the entire spinal column. All the vertebra are toned and exercised. It stretches the abdomen, thorax, lung and shoulders. Caution should be exercised on the wrist and the neck and the lower back if you have any pending issues. To prepare for this pose, one should be well versed in Urva Mukhashvanasana and Setubhang Sarvangasana. Now, Sanjay, Sev Narayan, Sirsasana. Sirsasana, translated into English, means headstand. It is an inverted asana. It is good for colds as it develops the lungs, the vertebral column, the leg, and the arms. To prepare for this asana, one has to be well versed in Sarvangasana, Adamukhishvanasana, Uttanasana, Virasana. Be cautious if you have issues with high blood pressure or dizziness. One should extreme, exercise extreme caution with this asana and practice against the wall when first learning it. Thank you. Sunita Migo Bhunamanasana. Bhunama Asan, translated from Sanskrit, means greeting to Mother Earth. It is a seated asana in which the spine is twisted in an effort to reach the torso to the floor with the face and the palms down. Thank you. Tani Cheti, Nataraj Asana, Dance Pose. Nataraj Asan, dancer pose, is a standing, balancing, 
and sometimes a back-bending asana. It strengthens the ankles and the legs, stretches the thorax, abdomen, thigh and shoulders. Thank you. Now Vijay Lakshmi, Sev Narayan, Virabhadra. Virabhadrasan 2. Virabhadrasan 1. Translated into English means the warrior pose 1. It strengthens the thigh, the back, the calf, the shoulders and the arms. It gives a good stretch to the lungs, thorax, thigh, navel area, calf, angle and shoulders. It is a standing pose and is an, is an excellent all-round tone. Zehra Osman Chakrasana. Chakrasana is also known as a circle pose or Urva Dhanurasana. It is a back bend and also a sequence in the Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga. It gives great flexibility to the spine. It strengthens Amy. the buttocks, abdomen, vertebral column, the back, the wrist and the arms. It gives a good stretch to the lung, thorax and the abdomen. A good preparation for this pose is Bhujangasana and Virasana. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Kavita Salanki, Mr. Kugan Naidu and all 20 practitioners. Now that we have come to the end of today's program, we will have vote of thanks by my colleague Ms. Shisti Harinarai. Namaskar. On behalf of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban, it gives me great pleasure in rendering this evening's vote of thanks on the occasion of Yog Darshana. Firstly, I'd like to extend deep gratitude to Mr. Ishwar Ram Lachman, the President and founder of the Shivananda World Peace Foundation, Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Director Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, Mr. Kugan Naidu, most importantly, to our 21 yoga demonstrators, that is Ms. Barita Harilal, Mr. Dinesh Narsi, Ms. Dinaz Jakprasad, Ms. Joanna Rashbi, Ms. Jyoti Narsi, Ms. Kasturi Chetty, Ms. Krishna Veni Reddy, Ms. Lea Aswan, Ms. Logs Naidu, Mr. Mihir Mundani, Ms. Meena Naika, Ms. Intando Ngobane, Ms. Pat Chetty, Ms. Nirvana Ramdani, Ms. Renila Rabinarain, Ms. Roshni Bikram, Mr. Sanjay Sionarain, Ms. Sunita Megu, Ms. Uh, Mr. Tiny Chetty, Ms. Vijay Lakshmi Sionarain, Ms. Zara Asman. Most importantly, you, our online audience members, thank you so much for joining us today and please stay tuned to SVCC for further uh, programs. Also, I'd like to extend thanks to Ms. Cheryl Banwarilal, Ms. Kavita Solanki and Mr. Piyush Khandelwal for technical assistance. For me, Namaskar. <laughs>